Hilton is returning to the market in an offering that could be worth as much as $2.7 billion. It was acquired by Blackstone Group in 2007. So why the need to do it now? It's the normal life cycle of private equity investments that when you have had it in your portfolio for around five to seven years, you have optimized the whole business and then you, then you do a public uh, initial public offering to get a liquidity event and get returns back to your shareholders. So that's the main driver. But then also, you know, Hilton has a lot of debt on the balance sheet and, and more equity capital on the balance sheet would sort of change the capital structure mix a bit and make it more attractive to investors in public markets. But don't let the word debt put you off. Hilton now has 672,000 rooms across 90 countries and counting. And Peter thinks that being part of Blackstone is helping. They have changed from having their own hotels to actually lending out their brand and they're also doing the management of third-party owned hotels. So that binds less capital on the balance sheet, but you get the extra operating income in. So you, sort of, you, you make the operating profit to go up quite a lot. And we have to emphasize here that operating profit has doubled over the last two years. The deal is expected to be shopped to investors over the next week or so and to be priced on the 12th of December. And Peter thinks that at least short term, it could be a sound investment. With the price range, they're offering 65 million shares at an 18 to 21 uh, price range. And if they get 21 price, they will have a market capitalization very close to $21 billion. If you add the net debt on top of that and then you calculate the ratio called enterprise ratio to the EBDA, it's around 17.5. And that is around 70, not 17, but 70% higher than the average multiple in the market. So you're paying a pretty steep premium to get this stock in your portfolio. But given the, the, the stability of the cash flow, the growth throughout the financial crisis, the brand, the new strategy, we actually think it's quite worth it.